Right, before I start um, reassembling the gearbox, I do need to clean up this case a bit, so I just need to strip it down. Um, and also need to remove, well, I already moved one, um, the dowels, because I have dowels in the other half of the case. Um, so the easiest way to get these out, find the drill bit, which will fit snugly inside the dowel. Our mole grips and we get enough grip on it. Tighten that up a little bit. Should be able to wiggle that over there. Right, so they're both out now. Um, I just need to strip all this down. It's all a little bit rusty. That really needs to come out, have a bit of a clean up. Um, I've just got this clamped in the in the vice at the moment. So first of all, I will just remove these plungers and springs. So you can give everything a good clean up. So that's those out. Uh, just need to undo these. And then remove these. Oh, stuff has come out. And that one. come off properly. A little washer. Oh, well, three of them stood come out, one didn't. So we'll have to sort that out. Right, so for that one they got these springs. Shift. I also need to put a new um, new ring on there. Give this a good clean up. Right, so we'll get all those bits cleaned. Uh, might take that off. I don't know. We've got the balls in there. Can't see. Is that one out of the back? Oh yeah, it is there. Yeah, they're all in there. Yeah, so that might just need a little bit of a clean up. So just a couple of flathead screws there. Um, to come out. And we'll give this a good old clean up. Um, also need to replace the seal behind here. That's, uh, yeah. Right. So that's sort of uh, that stripped down and uh, just had a quick clean on it. I did just take that off, but I've put that back on again. Um, yeah, they've all had a little bit of a clean down. New O-ring on there. Um, I haven't got a new oil seal, unfortunately, so I'm waiting for one of those. Um, 
but that's the little kind of thing that fits in it goes in there and then that goes over the just taps over the top just hold it in place um, yes yeah, so we're basically all ready to go once I get the new o-ring um, yeah how much how much more you say about that <laughs> apart from uh, yeah well, I'll, see, I'll show you when I put it all back together um, so I don't know where that might actually get on and put the gears in um, yeah might just get set up and uh, and do that I've got some new select forks uh, to go in um, so I'll have to go and find those that was the old one of the old ones these ones try to kind of weld the the roller on there to stop that falling off unfortunately it doesn't move <laughs> yeah so well it sort of moves a little bit if it doesn't spin round like it should right um yeah so we'll get those parts in um i think the first thing i'll do is get the get the fourth gear on on the output gear um new sprocket i've got to go on uh, i've got a nut for that as well and a tab washer uh yeah I've um, previously already put the um, the cam plate in and the the plunger in the bottom there, so that all turns nicely. Uh, right, so I'm now pop this in, which goes through there. Lock it to go on. So I just need to put a little bit of oil around there for the um, for when it pushes through the oil seal. So this is the other side. Um, might just have to put this camera on the tripod, I think. Now I just need a method of holding this or I'll tighten that. Um not sure if there is a torque setting, I'll have to have a look. Well, I found a torque setting. Um that is forty five foot pounds or sixty one newton meters. Unfortunately I've not got a socket or anything to fit it. Uh, well I've got a spanner, <laughs> that fits, that's an inch Whitworth, uh, but I haven't got a socket. So, I might have to leave that to get a socket in order, um, so I can talk that up. Um, so I'll just have to get on with the rest of it, um, and, and do that at some other point. I just, <laughs> I'll just need to mark that up to make sure I don't forget. But, uh, yeah. That's not even the same as the um, BSA one. That's, I've got a, well, it's not a socket, it's a, um, box spanner, BSA, that's an inch and seven eighths. I think I need an inch and one eighth. Uh, AF, so, yeah. 
Got a lot of sockets and I'm on fit. Okay, so my engine is a 1967 um, and it came with, well, it's all in bits basically. So, came with the outer casing and the inner casing of the gearbox. Um, however, this is from a much later one. This has got a date on it. Oh, that shows up. 28176. So it's different. And the main difference being for a five speed. So this quadrant is all different. However, with the box of bits I got, <laughs> there's the correct quadrant or selector. Um, so I need to get that in there. I have already removed, these are slightly different to the earlier ones. I think the earlier ones they have this shaft that goes right the way through. Now these for some reason have a shorter shaft in there holding this on. I hope that's the same diameter. Can't see any reason why, why they would change it. Um, yeah, so to get that out, there's a little plug here that was in the end, a little aluminium plug which has a O-ring on it. So I'll remove that, put the O-ring on, so it's ready to go back in. And I just need to remove the, remove this. So that involves taking off this um, split pin first of all. If I can get at it. In. And I think there is a thread inside there, inside the hollow shaft that this is on. Um, so I'll find a bolt fit in there so I can just pull that out uh, and then be ready to put the, uh, the new one in. Right, well, this is um, quarter. UNC. Well, that's caught a couple of thread. I don't think that's the right thread, but that's caught a couple of threads. I think that's enough to pull that out. Like that. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, that is something much finer. It's a fine thread of some sort in there. I suppose that'd be UNF, wouldn't it? Okay. Um, that, back. So that can now come out, and this one can go in. So it's going to be the same orientation, I would guess, like that. And then this can go back in. I'll give this a little bit of a clean up, I think, and um, get some oil on it and get that back in. Throw it around. 
behind here. Line that hole up. I think I might need my little bolt again. Yeah, I need my little bolt again. Seen it yet? Right, we'll fiddle around with that. Get that back in. Get the plug back in. Pin in. Uh, and then I think I might have to make a plug up to go in here so I think on the later engine cases the gasket is different it goes right right there in here so I'm assuming that that needs to be blocked because if not oil is going to leak out there because um, if you have a look at my engine casing I guess the early ones must have been cast there. Um, yeah, see that's where that would sit here. So it's just going to leak oil, or potentially leak oil through that hole, that big hole, and down there. So I think I need to make a little plug up for that. Um, but I'll get this bit in first, and then uh, we'll have a look at that. One other thing I need to do is make a new bush for here because um, I've got the older, smaller diameter shaft. <laughs> now I've rattled around like anything in there, so I'm going to have to make one of these. I've got the dimensions out of the um, out of a workshop manual. Um, yeah, so that'll be. The, I'll have to press this out and. Uh, make one of those um you can hear that <laughs> you hear that out there that is somewhere in the woods monk jack get quite a lot of those around here Just now I've got a dog barking, but no, he's a monk jack. Somewhere over there. Yeah, just a little bit of interest for you. <laughs> right, I'm gonna have a go at doing this by something called um, the Huey Hancock's method um, rather than the standard workshop um, method of doing this so first of all the cam plate is set in first gear position so the plunger is in the first gear slot um, that's the first thing I've already got the thrust plate uh, the thrust washer on the back that's just held in place with a bit of grease uh, a bit down there right um so first thing to do is place the lay shaft in with its second and third gears on get that in then we'll place on the lay shaft selector fork which is that one 
see the difference between that and the main shaft which is this one see the roller is in a different position not much but it is right so this is the lay shaft one so that needs to go in that way round and we'll just set that on the gears on the slot so it's got it's hooked both those gears up there they're both sliding together and we just drop that in the slot like that okay and i've got the rollers held on with a little bit of grease as well uh then we'll get the second gear on the main shaft one ready to go in um i'm going to deviate slightly from the recommended way of doing this normally you put the the gear in and then the fork but i think i'm going to put the fork in and then the gear simply because you can actually see what you're doing if you do it this way around so i just lay that on a punch get that roller in its relevant slot which is hard to see because it's dark and dingy in there somewhere back there and do just temporary support that with the and this punch so I can get that in its slot which is there right I'm now going to put in the rod straight the fork rod without moving anything hopefully that's dropped a bit. <laughs> Could do really skinny fingers to do this. <laughs> right. So that is in place. Rollers are still in position. Which normally you can't actually even see in there if you do it the um, standard way. Right, so I'll now get in the gear. So what I'll do is hold that fork out of the way a bit and get this past the fork. Lay it on top of the lay shaft gear. Right, so that one is in position. Just have a check, make sure that roller hasn't come off. Looks okay, just about see in there. Now I'll take the third gear of the main shaft. The same sort of thing. Just kind of lay it on top and roll it over. Get it in the relevant groove so those two are locked together yep they're together and a little check make sure they are actually together yeah looks like it okay so now you can simply slide in the main shaft. I'll just put a bit of oil on there first. Right. 
should just now be able to slide this all the way through. Right, that's all there. which I have done. Oh, got a bit of muck in there. Yeah. So first gear is place right that is needs to go through a bit more I think right we're there so now I'll just get some well seal on there well seal on the other on the inner cover and uh, we'll get that home So, just turned up a, a new bush to replace that one on the lathe. Um, yes, yeah, so that will now fit on there. Like that. There's that one you can see is uh, way too big. I think the um, the shaft size changed this end on the selector because uh, this is a 1976 um, case. Uh, yes, yeah, so all I've got to do now heat that up, press that in there, um, put the plug back in there, that little plug there. Um, we did also have to cut down a uh, a bolt for where's that one go? Get in there for there and uh, put thread on it so that's ready. I've got one of them now. Um, yeah, so basically I can get that uh, get all this back together and that can uh, that can then go on and uh, yeah. That's all ready there to take it. Yeah, so what I'll do, I'll heat this up. Press that one in, put that one well out of the way so we don't accidentally <laughs> put that one back in. <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be okay then. All right, so that's that little top hat bush in place that put the plug back in there and uh, I just turned up a little aluminium plug to go in there just to press fit I didn't put um, I mean that one has no ring around it but no, I didn't bother with that um, I'm pretty sure that'll be okay that was a good fit um, if it does I'll just knock it out and put some um, um, <laughs> What am I thinking of? I've got a good look at well seal. That's what I mean. Put a little bit of well seal around it. That would um, that would sort it out. Yeah. So that is ready to go on now. Uh, yeah. Just need to clean the surface of here. Clean the maintenance surface on the um, the gearbox. Uh, don't think. Don't think I'll put gaskets. I think I'll just put some put some well seal around. So I'll just clean, have a little clean up with some um, acetone, and uh, yeah, we'll get that on there. Got some well seal on there. Uh, some on the other half. That's just had a little time to flash off. So should get 
put these together now. Getting the thrust washer on there. Right, so get this over these studs. I've got new studs in here, by the way. So when this goes in, this needs to be uh, towards the top. So I'll see first gear position and then we start getting a bit further on just need to make sure this is kind of there gone a bit too far Here's that back a bit. Right, that needs to be kind of engaged there. Right, all I need to do is hold that sort of bit there and just tap this. Engaged. I think we're in the right place. Won't really know until we <laughs> come and try it out. I think we're there. Right, so I'll now get the nuts, bolts, washers in place to hold this on. Uh, then we'll get to the, the outer cover. Yeah, so there is a little Alan, Alan bolt there. Well, could be a cheese head. Um, another bigger that's in there. And there's a hex head washer under there okay just so we're confident that um, everything is okay before we go to the next stage uh, so we're in first there that's spinning around nicely um, you can actually just use a screwdriver to select here just want to keep pressure this way on the main shaft that's the only thing because uh, obviously when the kickstart gear goes on that's what that does is pull that forward all right so we should be able to get neutral what should we have second Third. And fourth. So all should be good. I'll just put this back to where we were to start with. first okay all right so next thing will be getting the kickstarter gear on 